Hello everyone, uh, so I'm back in the workshop again and this kind of stems on from um, Paul Madison again, um, Paul I'm not trying to make you famous but you might very well get there. Now all it uh, stems from is uh, going back to the video that I uh, just put up just the other day uh, in terms of design considerations and one of the design considerations was to very much kind of get down the weight of the night vision uh, screen and the camera and that's what's loaded on the rifle itself so the actual combination of the whole rifle weight the scope and the kit that you can add on now follow on from uh, Paul's uh, you know video post that he put through to me and also my uh, post I then was sat kind of pondering on how can I make this connection lighter now uh, obviously I, I mentioned about uh, using one of these uh, camera uh, attachments that you can get and uh, apologies that there was a gentleman who asked me where you could get one in the UK you can get these from Staples uh, for £20 now well they're similar type but you know it does uh, the same thing so I managed to get this one from a, a, a nice Chinese supplier and I was pondering on how I could take the um, three three inch screen connector that we all seem to be very much familiar with and I've come across this uh, quite a, a unique solution now I don't know whether it's been done before if it has I'm not trying to copy it this is purely me sitting down with a drink at the pub and kind of coming up with wonderful ideas as I do so what I'll do is I'll just kind of go through how I've achieved it and show you what I'm going to do and how it works so so really uh, what we'll do is we'll take one of these and what we can do is literally just peel off this and this is either going to go bad from the start which might not do 3m by the way is quite a renowned company for making very good adhesives now what we'll see in here and I don't know whether I can get it in on the camera there's a little screw at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and what will happen is that you'll end up with this plate on its own something like this and then this tube so what I'll do is I'll just pause it now and get that out and so we can uh, just move on to the next part and here we go, so I've loosened the screw off, generally what you get is that, so, so just a normal little, little screw, nothing fancy, so we'll chuck that to one side. And this, if you want to, it depends on the, the manufacturer of the camera, but the one that I had earlier actually came apart, but to, to a degree we're not really interested in that. So we have to move on to the next step, and hopefully this will start to make sense. So what I want to do is actually really get the connection between my uh, scope mount and this to essentially do that now the way you, I'm going to do it is I'm going to make almost an adapter to connect the two and this is on how I'm going to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this is a, a 20 millimeter hole saw with a 6 millimeter drill bit and the reason why it's 6 millimeter is this is essentially what 6.2 6.3 millimeters across so using the material that I have to hand which I've got loads of at the moment is just some wood essentially I'm going to drill through and cut out a, a center part which will essentially give me this so this is the one that I did earlier typical blue peter style for those in the UK and well and probably some of those abroad and essentially all I've done is I've done a 6 six millimeter drill through there like so and then followed up to get the um, this part here installed I've used a seven mil drill bit so these are this one is pretty much seven mil uh, in diameter so what does as I like to do in all my videos I'll just show you how you do it so uh, I use very much a, a pillar drill Throw that in there like so. I mean, there's probably other methods that you can do, but I just thought that this would be a very good example of how this can be achieved very easily and very quickly without pausing too much. And hopefully, we'll go through from start to finish. So, I'll just find the center of this. So there we go we've got the hole taken out so we'll put that to one side 
just get a screwdriver. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to prise out the core of this like so. Okay. So there we have it. So that's the initial part to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the, the abrasive wheel and I'm just going to tidy these edges up slightly. those who are going to post on that that is not the right way to do that so and the next part is also going to be just about so I've tied up the to the edges here so hopefully we can see that um, so what we'll do is I'm just going to take a seven millimeter drill bit and just drill down into there now again I have um, I've not got the right tool for this next part in a sense and I would ideally like to have a vice on it but I haven't got around to purchasing one so literally just take out this hole saw as prepared earlier seven mil drill bit pop that in like so And again, this is not the right way, but it's the tool that I've got to, to hand for choice. So I've just uh, gone slightly, you can just see the ridge where it's going to go from 7mm to 6mm. So if I take my scope, so if I can get this to work well. Obviously you wouldn't have your scope here with you, I mean this is an old scope that I've got. And generally you just need to screw it on. With the wood being softer than metal, I'll quite happily tighten up. There we go. And then... This will be whether I need to do take one or take two. Just take your part and then just give it a firm press. It's not going in as I want it to. Ah, uh, one thing I did forget to see is there's a little burr there uh, which pokes up, so I'm just going to whiz that off slightly. So I've just whizzed, taken that off. So now it should. Press firmly in. And there you have it. So as we all know, is you just pop on your screen at the back there. And, and off we go. I am going to make these out of uh, two centimetre uh, plastic. So if anyone does come across this, you don't want to go through the elements of you know buying the drill bits and, and and whatnot which does you know the tooling that i've done for the night vision kits over the past year or so is it's actually um cost me a fair bit but i can i can make excuses to the reason why i buy it however if you want if you want them uh, i will actually sell this as a whole kit uh, by means just drop me a message and i'll get a I'll get one rigged up for you um i won't obviously supply this part uh, you'll have your own camera so literally you'll just have to do the first part of the video again uh, just whiz that out just push it in and off you go and that's all you'll need to do so hope that's been of uh, informative use again I mean that's now really really light uh, compared to my other builds when I've got the uh, battery pack on you know that that will keep the weight down so I'm going to do a, a weight comparison of the two kits once I've got another one built up with a new version so hope you found that useful thank you very much